Hello everyone, my name is Bharat Vaz. In this video, I will discuss about off delay timer. Open your PLC software. On the left side, scroll down and timer category, select the off delay timer and click here. So this is our off delay timer block. Go to properties, give the block name off delay timer. Okay. If you see, there are two inputs and one output. The first input is trigger. Second one is reset. These are digital inputs. So take two inputs I will take i3 you can use any input remember that reset sorry this is my input cannot and take one more input Connect this one. This one is uh, I4 I will use and uh, comment reset. Okay. And adjust these lines overlapping each. So remove the overlapping. and take one output connect and give the comment this is my output now open your plc hardware Now download this program. If you don't have the hardware with you, then do the simulation. Share our courses, videos with your friends and network so that they will reach to more users. And you will help us in reaching the wider audience. Thank you. Now the program is downloaded. I will go to online. Also, follow our social media networks so that you will receive the updates instantly whenever we publish the new videos. Now I will turn on the input i3. See, the output is on. Uh, first, uh, first I will enter the time delay. So before that, I will turn off the input again. Go to properties. Go to minutes. I need six seconds, so I will enter six here. If you need minutes, you have to enter the number of minutes in this field. Okay, you can select hours, minutes and seconds. Okay. Now I will turn on the input. See, input I3 is on. Then immediately the output 1 is on. So for off delay timer, it will only work for off. That means when our input is zero, that time only the timer will be started. See, observe, I will turn off the input I3. Timer is started. The output is still on. After six seconds only, the output will be off. So what happened here? 
the off status of the input is delayed for 6 seconds. After 6 seconds only the output is off. So this is off delay timer. The off status will be delayed for the specified amount of time. That's it. And one more input is there which is reset. If you turn on the reset, the output status will be zero. See, the reset is on, output is off. The reset is having the high priority. So, if both input and reset are on, then the reset will be considered. That is why the output is zero. If my reset is now off, then input is on because then so output is on. If input i3 is off then after 6 seconds my output is off so this is the off delay timer sometimes we use this type of function in uh, pump control applications you will turn off the pump after some time or after achieving some interlock or some permissive it depends on your control philosophy Share with us how you are using this type of off delay timer in your control philosophy or process control applications with us through the comment section. Thank you. I will meet you in the next video.